In this video, we're going to talk about the assets or materials you'll want to have ready in order to build your website, or that goes also for other marketing materials. These assets include images, videos, text, testimonials, awards, and more. During this, during this session, you'll hear me clicking on the computer keyboard. You might hear my doggies barking. You might hear airplanes going overhead but we're going to focus on the assets you have and should pull together for your website and your marketing. I'm Barbara Lorraine. I help people reach greater small business success. I'm known as the queen of small business because I help people start a business, grow an existing business, or even turn a hobby or interest into a business all for additional income and what that means to you and your family in greater freedom and what that means for your market in that you are probably the very best at what you do and so you got to get the word out about yourself so that you can make a difference for all of those prospects who need to become your clients. You'll gather or create assets for your marketing your brand and tagline slogan, your brand logo, images that communicate your brand promise, images of you, your team, and your product in use, copywriting, what do your prospects and clients want and need from you? How are you gonna communicate that in writing? videos we cover this in the video marketing program in fact we cover each of these items in additional more comprehensive programs proof of your credibility authority and trustworthiness proof is really important on the internet today well and in business in general <laughs> in life in general trust is important your brand communicates your business personality including your values and your mission the brand is often a direct reflection of the founder's personality. A common misconception is that a logo is your brand. No, it can take time to develop your brand, so you don't need to begin your business with a logo. We'll talk about logos more. Here are some examples. Richard Branson's Virgin brand expresses his personality. I first heard of Richard Branson when he was going in an inflatable balloon across the ocean, across the world. So he had a strong brand from the get-go based on his adventurous, sexy, and active personality. The brand message is consistent from all the business segments to Necker Island, his business resort and retreat. The Apple brand reflects founder Jobs and Wozniak's mission. It's elegant, value-driven, visionary, creative, and innovative. Those characteristics continue from the logo to packaging, to the store design, to their products. They're all consistent, aren't they? Your logo, your marketing, your reaching business success. As a small business, having a logo is not so important. Think of well-known logos, though. Think of also of the importance of their taglines. They bring to mind the company behind the logo and behind the tagline. But it took millions of dollars to create that public awareness and millions more to sustain it. We all know, just do it. Things go better with Coke. Have a Coke and a smile. But it takes millions, gazillions, to communicate those big brands. You don't really need that. It's not about the logo for a small business. If you're determined to create a logo now, here's a helpful resource for inspiration and maybe even for getting your logo developed at taylorresource.com. They ask questions about your business and your preferences with fonts, icons, and layout. Then they make suggestions that can be helpful. Here are suggestions they made for me.
your tagline is more important than a logo because it quickly communicates who your company is, what you do, and what you stand for. That said, for a new developing business, it can take time to develop your best slogan tagline. Consider these iconic slogans, McDonald's, I'm loving it. KFC, finger licking good. Subway, eat fresh. Kit Kat, have a break, have a Kit Kat. Skittles, taste to the rainbow. Rice Krispies, although that's from a while ago, snap, crackle, pop. Your slogan should clearly state what you do. Great if it can also be catchy, memorable, and remarkable, as in worthy of remark. Like a song, a tagline should invite people to use them and to share them. This is why I call myself the queen of small business, because it's memorable, because it locks into people's mind. Who do I work with? Startup businesses, existing businesses who want to grow, and even people who want to turn a hobby or interest into a business. That's what a tagline does. As they say, a picture is worth a thousand words. It's true. When you use your images well, you create the feeling your customers get by using your product or service. Will they more, be more happy because of using your product? Will they become more prosperous? Will they be healthier? Use images that elicit and convey those feelings. People buy what they want to get from the product. They don't necessarily want to buy a car. They want the feeling of status and of excellence from a Mercedes. It's important to use images legally. Royalty free does not mean free to use. It means you have to pay, it means you don't have to pay royalties for each and every use, but you do have to pay. However, there are sites that offer absolutely free to use images. You can find pictures at wikipedia.com, but two of my favorite sites are unsplash.com and pixels.com. They have beautiful images that can help you create that feeling that people get from your products and services, from your brand. Pictures can really communicate your brand and illustrate what it is that you're saying. Always check terms, conditions, and requirements, if any, for giving attribution to the image owners or the image creators. In addition to images that communicate the feeling of your brand, you might want to have pics of the founder, your team, action shots of your product or service being used. Of course, it's best to have professional images taken, but that can be beyond the budget or time, timing of smaller startup of companies. So by using a few guidelines, you can capture your own good enough images with your smartphone. For steadier pictures, don't use Zoom. Consider using the rule, rule of thirds, which means that the subject of the image is off to the side instead of in the center. This is particularly useful if you want to be able to put text off on the side. You don't want to have text going over your founder's face. Turn off the flash. Use natural light, stay out of shadows and bright light that makes people squint. Use a simple background that does not distract or that adds to the shot. There's usually a picture hanging up here, but when I'm filming, I take it down. Consider adding props. Do I have any props around me right now? No, I don't, but you can have your book, your product, your infographic, your whatever it is that you're talking about, you can have it and put it right here by your face. Take a variety of shots and choose those that best communicate your message. 
don't shoot up a person, have the camera usually higher than the person's face. You don't want to shoot up a person's nose. Position the camera a bit above the head, if at all possible. Before posting images online, use compressnow.com to optimize the image size. Here are some of the shots from that I have used, all taken, all taken with a smartphone. And you use your images with a purpose in mind. I happen to love that picture top left of me. I think it looks I think it looks prettier than what I usually do. And I like the picture, of course, my face is covering it up right now. I like the picture on the far right. It, I look smart, I look professional, I look serious business, but I chose the picture in the middle for my, uh, for my, the header of my website because it also communicates lightness and fun. And although the work that I do with people is pretty serious because I want to help them improve their business, their income, and their lifestyle, we also take a lighthearted, fun approach to it. The images you use, like everything else in your marketing, should be designed for the customer, not for you, not for your ego. Of those last pictures, for my ego, I would have used the picture top left because I look cuter there. The middle picture communicates professionalism and authority, but the one in the middle looks happy and easygoing. And isn't that what you want in someone helping you with your small business success? I hope so. You may need a transparent background as I did for my header pick. This is one of the reasons it's best in some cases to use a blank background. It makes removing the background much easier. See, in PowerPoint, you can use Power Tools with the Format tab. Double click the image, click Remove Background. It turns the background purple. Then you choose Background Removal in the Tool ribbon. In Keynote, you choose the image, you click Instant Alpha, you drag the cursor over the part of the pic to remove, and then you simply click Done. Easy peasy. Or for $5 per image at Fiverr.com, you can have the background taken out. Now, I'm not a big fan of Fiverr, but this they can do for sure. Copywriting for your marketing. Your marketing has several jobs to do summed up in the acronym AIDA. AIDA stands for attention. The first thing you need to do and the first thing you need to do very quickly is you must grab attention on your website. That's part of the job of your header. Grab attention. You only get a couple seconds for people to to give their attention on your website. Interest. Next, immediately build interest. Help them see that they are in the right place with your message, that you might be it in terms of solving their problems. To, so to reflect on what's on my website header, I immediately let them know this is about business success, desire. Help them trust you with social proof, credibility, building helpful information, and more. What awards have you been given? What testimonials do you have? Help them trust you. And then action. Inspire them to say yes to your call to action and to get them ready to say yes to being your new customer. These don't happen automatically. You have to work at it. You have to work for it attention, interest, desire, action. We've already talked about your tagline or slogan, your logo and images, those have a job to do. In talking about copywriting, it's the same idea to A-I-D-A, -A. to grab attention, begin with 
compelling statements or and or provocative questions. These get people's attention because if they have a problem or a desire that is already on their mind and your question or your statement hits them, it lets them know you understand, you can help. As examples of that, I talk about stop leaving money on the table or how much money are you leaving on the table? That statement and that question is designed to let people know when they go to my website, you're in the right place. I understand your pain. You've got to grab their attention. You've only got one to three seconds online or they will never hear the rest of your message. No pressure there. These questions and or statements should be prepared before you sit down to write your marketing piece, whether it's a website, a flyer, or an ad, don't wing it. These questions communicate and connect big time when they're done well. You've got to grab people's attention or they'll never get the rest of your message. As an alternative or an addition, to grab attention, you might use an image or several images, especially on your website or in an ad or in a flyer. An image with compelling copy can be an irresistible one-two punch. You have the image on the left, which is the thumbnail of the video where I've added the word success onto the license plate of the car. And then on the right-hand side, it's all Stop. Are you leaving money on the table? When is it time to start? How about now? Now you've got their attention. It's time to build interest. What are people interested in most? Themselves. So don't begin by telling them about your company. Skip the statements like for X years we've blah, blah, blah. There's a statement. People don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. You have to show that you understand. Your building interest step is letting people know how much you understand and care about them. Copywriting. Build interest. Make statements that show you understand. State their problems. Ask or state what they've already done to fix their problems. Ask them or state what you know about the disappointing results they have experienced. Your building interest step is letting people know how much you understand and care about them. With a good script, these ideas and more can be effectively communicated with video. We cover video in our video marketing for OMG ROI program. There are also 16 ways to use video to catapult your business. You can get your free report at barbaralain.com. Your building interest step is letting people know how much you understand and care about them. Notice sometimes I repeat myself when it's really important. Your assets. Build desire in doing business with you now. Show how you can help. Show your solutions and proof. Show your website, social media, show a picture of your office, your team, uh, as proof of your stability as a business and of your trustworthiness. Establish credibility, authority, with articles, blog posts, books, webinars. Show proof of results in testimonials, reviews, case studies, and more. Give social proof, articles, associations, and more. Now that you have their attention and you have created interest by showing your interest in them, showing that you understand them, showing that you care about them, and you have developed their desire to do business with you, now it's time to encourage them to take action. 
with the preceding steps, you've made it easier for people to say yes to your offer, or have you? It's easier for people to take a smaller step. Have you set up your sales process so that it's easy for people to buy from you? Sometimes prospects expect a free sample of your work before committing to an actual purchase. Odds are, if your product costs more than $197, you're going to have to offer people either a free or very low cost product first. If you're selling through trusted affiliates, you may be able to skip that step. We talked about affiliates and lead magnet products in other sessions. You might want to review them again. We've talked about the assets for your website, your brand and tagline or slogan, your brand logo, images that communicate your brand promise, images of you, your team, and your product in use, copywriting. What do your prospects or clients want and need to hear from you? Videos, and we cover that a lot in the video marketing program. Proof of your credibility, authority, and trustworthiness. As always in this session, using these ideas, you begin with the end in mind. The end is you want to make it easy for people to say yes to you because you are the best at what you do and you would do them a disservice to have to allow them to choose someone other than you since you're the very best and you want to make more income. So you want to help people say yes to your products and your proposals to each of your calls to action along the way. To remind you, I have lots of different videos, programs, and content available. So subscribe to my YouTube channel, visit and sign up at barbalorain.com, connect on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, join me on LinkedIn. I am Barbara Lorain. I'm known as the queen of a small business because I help people start a business grow a business, or turn a hobby or interest into a new business, a side income, all for more income, to make a better difference with people in the world, to get your word out more, to improve your income and your life for your family, for your community, and for the economy at large. Until next time, this is Barbara Lorraine wishing you the very best in success and in your life for your business and with you and your family.